Good morning, YouTube. Black Friday is an important day for electronics and it's an important day for me because this thing just arrived. This is the OnePlus 5T. I'm so excited to finally get this phone. I haven't seen one yet. This is the first time OnePlus has changed the screen size of their flagship. It used to be five and a half inch all the way from the OnePlus One. Now it's a six inch screen. A couple other changes like the camera, the fingerprint sensor has moved to the back. They have their own face unlock. I love OnePlus. I've been a big fan of all their phones and I've just been waiting to get this in my hand. Let's open the box. I got a case also, so that's the case. Uh, maybe a screen protector. And oh yeah, it was a bundle. Here's our beautiful OnePlus 5 box. The front just says 5 and a OnePlus logo. If I saw this, I would think this is a 5 and not a 5T. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. Aha! Here we go. OnePlus 5T. Nicely written on the side, on both sides. Perfectly shrink wrap. Let's look at what's written on the bottom. OnePlus A5010 Midnight Black. This is the 128 gig version. Designed by OnePlus. Assembled in China. Shot on OnePlus. Powered by dual camera. Created together with our fan. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, this is so exciting. And boom. There it is. This reminds me of unboxing the iPhone X because suddenly there's a glaring omission at the bottom. No more home button. Wow. This looks nice. There's a nice strap here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Let's quickly look inside the box. There's our beautiful, sexy dash charger. The best charging experience in mobile today. Yeah. Look at the quality of this cable. Look at how nice that cable looks. All right. Good, dash charger looks the same as before. There's probably some paperwork in there, but who cares? Time for the main event. Let's look at this guy. Yeah. How does it weigh? Huh. The NFC sensor is here. The vertical line above the camera ring is the NFC antenna. Oh, that's that thing. Please do not attempt to disassemble the back cover. Okay, let's take all this off. Nice. It's the same black as before, as I can t as far as I can tell. It looks exactly the same. Very close in height. Very close in thickness. Pretty close in, uh, oh, the 5T you can tell is a little bit wider. The camera from the outside looks very similar. See, you could almost, if you, if not for the fingerprint sensor, it'd be hard to tell which is which. This is the 5, this is the 5T. Nothing on the top. You can see how much the camera bump sticks out. That is, is the same also. On the left-hand side, volume rocker and the volume button. Just the power button on the right hand side and the SIM tray. The phone has no stereo speakers, but on the bottom we have a headphone jack. Compared to an iPhone X, the iPhone X is noticeably shorter. It's a little bit shorter than a Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's compare it with the space gray of, uh, of the iPhone. Glossy, glossy, matte black. Okay, I'm holding the bar button to turn it on, and here we go. OnePlus 5T booting up for the first time. Oh, that screen is great. That screen is big. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, welcome. So I'm gonna set it up as quickly as I can. Let's go. What? Font, this is select the system font you wanna use. OnePlus Slate recommended. Sure, OnePlus Slate. Changing font. Next, insert SIM card, I'll do that in a bit. Skip, copy your data from an iPhone, set up as new. Wow, look at the size of this screen. Compared to that. OK, 
Okay, let me sign into my Google account. Here we go. Let's try face unlock. Add face data. Pattern. Hello, face unlock. Yep. Yep. Add face data. Next. Hold your phone 20. To Oh, that's not gonna work. Let me try it again. Face unlock setup done. Confirm. That was very fast. Okay, more. Three. Meet Google Assistant next. Yes, I'm in. Get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Done. Device pattern to continue. Next. Nothing else. All set. Add finishing touches. Here it is. Our opening wallpaper, opening screen. Yeah. How sweet does that look? Look at that screen size difference. And see, we don't have to wait with the iPhone for developers to redo their app so it takes up the whole screen. We should be able to get that benefit right off the bat. See, the problem is like a, with like the iPhone X, for example, if you open YouTube, oh, YouTube's not a good one. If you open Gmail, see, how, see what happens? Most of the screen is not, a lot of the screen is not used up. But here, if I open Gmail, look at how much bigger the screen is. Immediately, on a OnePlus 5T, compared to on an iPhone 10. See that difference? That is a sizable screen difference. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this thing some more. Ooh, I like that. 99% available storage. Let's look at the storage. 826 megabytes used of 111 gigs. Feels nice and fast. Android 711. So far, my first impressions is the screen is awesome. The screen is better than I thought it would be in terms of size. Obviously, in terms of clarity and resolution and all that, it should be, brightness should be about the same as the other screen on the OnePlus 5. Look at those bezels. Right to the bottom, right to the top. Uh, let's see how fast face unlock is and how well that works. Whoa, did you see that? Watch the little icon at the bottom of the screen. So look, it's not aimed at my face. It's locked, you can see that. Okay, watch this, watch this. Now I'll aim it at my face. Oh, you don't even see the lock screen. So look, not aimed at my face, it's locked. Okay, how about aimed at my face? Holy crap, that is fast. Yeah, that may not be, more, even though it's not more secure than the face ID on the iPhone, it is fast. It is way faster. Huh, that's exciting. It's so nice to see how uh, few apps come on this phone. Zero bloatware. The only app they've added is their forum app, which is fine because the OnePlus 5T community is pretty active. Find the sensor. Yep, we know where the sensor is. Next, fingerprint setup. Fingerprint added. Done. So let's see how fast the fingerprint sensor is. Ready? Boom. Oh yeah, that is fantastic how fast that is locked okay first i'll do a face id face unlock oh unbelievable now let's do a fingerprint unlock unbelievable this again is one of the reasons why oneplus is one of my favorite companies i love that they go after performance everything is so fast like you buy a phone that costs way less than the competition yet it looks just as nice got a nice big screen the screen is nice and bright and everything is fast dash charging is faster than any other charging this fingerprint sensor is faster than any other fingerprint sensor face unlock 
also faster. One plus does not disappoint. This thing is so awesome. I love that they added this big screen. It makes a, a bigger difference than I thought it would. I'm actually more excited now that I have this phone in my hand than I thought I would be before I unboxed it. And I was pretty excited before I unboxed it. Okay, time to transfer my SIM card from the iPhone over to the OnePlus 5T. The OnePlus 5T includes dual SIM support, which is awesome. The spots for SIM 1 and SIM 2 are clearly labeled. Service. Oh, voicemail. Okay, so I'm up and running. Now, tell us update. Let's take a look at the other paperwork that comes in the box. Oh, what's this? There's a there's a case similar to with the Midnight Black 3T. It's a SIM removal tool. This is a pretty basic uh, plastic case. But you know, not most phones don't come with a case in the box. It's kind of nice how OnePlus includes a basic screen protector and extra basic case in the box. But at least your phone can be protected right away. Quick start guide. Okay, so they're labeled uh, the main things around the phone. Uh, not much else there. See, there are so many reasons why I like OnePlus. Right from their company philosophy to Carl Pay's a good guy to that they're a young upstart that they're not scared to do anything and they care about performance. Everything is fast. Scrolling around is really fast. I guess that ties with the Pixel. I don't know if I, I mean Pixel 2. I don't know if I can tell using it that the Pixel 2 feels a little snappier. Maybe it does, but I can't tell. Overall, so exciting to get a phone like this. The price is really good. It looks fantastic. The design is awesome. You pay like half the price of other phones, yet you don't get half the design. And you get better performance. Okay, so that's it for my iPhone 5T unboxing video. I'll post more videos about this phone as I use it. What do you think? Or do you have any questions about this phone? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.